Okay, Bismillah. So uh, let's start uh, with this exercise number two, right? So this is the exercise number two. As you can see, some in some exercises, I'm going just to give you a, a document, and you need to do something similar to it. So in the case when I'm not exactly telling you what to do, what is the font size, what is the font name, what you need to do is just do something that is closer enough to what you see. Uh, it doesn't have to be exactly the same, because if I want you to be exactly the same, I'm going to tell you exactly what I want, to, I want you to do. So now, in this case, we just want you to do something similar to this, which it doesn't have to have the same exact same details. So when, I'm, when you have this kind of exercise, the first thing that you should do, don't focus on the formatting. Tap the text first, and then later on we're going to change it, put this bold, put this in the center and everything. This is the fastest way for you not to, uh, to, to finish an exercise. So even that, if you have that, that type of exercises, in the quiz for example, just go ahead and type all the text so you don't forget any part of it, and then you start with the formatting later on. You continue with the formatting. So let's start doing that. So it says like this is the header. The header I'm going to show it later on uh, at the end. Let me just f after I finish this, I'm going to the last thing I'm going to do is to add this header and footer at the bottom. So I just would like to type all this. What I'm going to do, uh, I don't need to have this taken the whole screen. I'm going to make the word document bigger so I will be able to see more. And now I'm going to type memorandum, the same idea to st all students. And just now I'm, I'm, I make sure, you know, notice that this is capital, so I'm going to just the to and from, put them capital. And then teacher. Assessments and then date. Now we know how to insert the date, right? Whenever you see something between parentheses, that means do an action. So it's to go to insert, and actually, this is the when it's compressed like this, this is how it looks. But if you just make it bigger, you're going to see this is the same icon. I can just click on this one, or maybe if I'm doing something like this, I can also. Uh, oh, I don't find it in anymore here because in the insert it doesn't it doesn't show up. Let me just make it bigger. Even if it doesn't show up, for example, I I just I can look at it somewhere here. You see, it's this is mean that this is compressed. The, all the buttons are there, but they, they are not shown all of them. So you can just click on these, and then they are going to show you the rest of the buttons. So for example, I'm going to insert this one right. Let me make this bigger. If they are big enough, you're going to see them. If they're not, see something that is missing, it's going to be like you have some options how to show them again. So let me insert the date. And I would like to insert this way, for example, without update automatically. And then all assessments must be complete before. Salam. 31st. You know, when you type 31st ST and then space, you notice that it goes up automatically. It goes on superscript uh, automatically. If you want to do it yourself, there's a way how to do it. And let me show you how to do it. For example, I have this June 2010. And then for, for whatever reason, if it doesn't work, there's a way how to make it work. And to do that, you need to go, let me show you the full Sometimes I don't know why, but it seems that uh, okay. So let's go b continue where we were. So I was saying, even if this doesn't go up and you want to put it up, there's a way. If you go to home, there's a way that you can see some these some of these buttons. You see those two? This one puts something down, and the other one puts it up. So as you can see, it goes up now. So this is how you're going to, even if it doesn't work as expected, you can do it yourself. But even if generally, if you just type something like this, it's going to go up. And if you notice, actually, this is going to be activated by default. As you see, this is activated by default. You see this activated? Now it's not. So actually, this is the thing. Under 
no circumstances and you notice that I don't stop I don't go to back to the line when this stops here you know under no and then I didn't go in, uh, to the line I'm just keep going because I will just make it I will go to the line when I reach the end of the line students be allowed to submit after uh, to submit work after this date and now you see now I go back to the line because there's a dot and you can see that it was not completed so I go back to the line and then you realize that this distance between these two paragraphs are quite I mean the distance between these two lines is different from distance between these two lines so that's why this seems it shows that this is something that is uh, a new line please submit request forms to your department as soon as possible later and probably this later forms will not be processed will not be processed and then we go back to the line And then I have this name and then ID. You see the ID has a big distance between these two. There's one way to do that, those distances, is not use the spaces. Both, most of you, I think, they use the spaces to separate between these. But the spaces are not really uh, very helpful. There's this tab, you know, the tab key, the one with the two arrows, one going in the opposite direction, one to the left, the other one to the right. If you press on it, you see it moves a little bit. So again, if I press it, you see I c it moves a little bit. But it moves actually m more than just like a space. So this is one way. However, this is not the best way to put many of them. I'm just going to put one, OK? But there's something then, like if I click on this rule, uh, uh, so this. Uh, place over here for example I'd like it to be in the middle somewhere so let's say for example this is the middle if I click on the middle of here you see what happens it just shows a l some something here like let me maybe uh, if I have this this magnifier it's going to show a bigger picture okay let's make it 200 you see now this small thing over here this is a symbol that shows that this is where your tab is going to take, the space where it's going to take. Uh, this line is going to disappear, I don't know why it appears, but it's going to disappear very soon. Yes, you have a question? So you, you can see that this line disappears. I mean, this line should not be there, then. it just displays temporarily, and then it goes. Actually, now if I type ID, you can see if I type that ID, it appears next to there, okay? So that's why I can also move, if I'd like to move this a little bit closer or to another position, I can just do that, as you can see. It just moves where it, where it is. So you can see that this tab is much more convenient than the spaces, because the spaces, if you change the font, the size of, those spa of that space is going to be changed. So this is much more accurate than the spaces. Okay, when this is done, I'm going to insert the table. How do I insert the table? Insert, and there's something that's called table. And then when I have that, I can just specify how many columns. So I have three columns and six rows. I can see that the size is displayed there, so three by six, this is what I want. Two, four, six, yes. So I click. Even if if I'd like to add more than that, for example, more than this, I click on this insert table, and then I will be having the opportunity, inshallah, if it displays. Well, it will, inshallah. It will show you that you can control how many columns and how many rows. So. 
but since then we just need to be patient and I don't know why this is so difficult today okay where we were in let's say now we would like to insert the table okay so I said if I click on this insert table now I have this window that shows up and tells me how many columns that I want and how many rows so the rows are the lines and the columns are the columns and then I click OK it's going to be displayed so if I don't have that options from this insert table if it's I don't have enough of what I need if I need more than what is presented I can always go to this place over here now I can just keep going and type student name test date you notice that I don't use the mouse to navigate between the different cells I use the tab this is much faster so I don't need to move my hands out of the keyboard and then Yusuf 23 June 2010 and what I'm going to do because all of them are quite similar I'm going to copy this with control C as you can see control C down here this is how you copy and then in the department I'm going to type it maths and then I go Ali and then paste all I need to do now is change to 21 and then computing and then better same thing 25 maybe I can do something better I just copy this one so I just need to type only the the date the day and then it's going to finish the rest English and then Khalid uh, forgot 20 20 and then physics and Muhammad 15 chemistry okay then we're done with this one I get down I then I type the following students need to see their teacher and I type Ahmed notice that I don't put any Dafir don't put any numbers Mehdi why don't put numbers actually because I can do that later on I will show you how and then the following students have been absent Nadir, Waid, and Usama. And that's it. Now let's go from the beginning and try to do something like this. Actually, I forgot to put this as capital letter, but there's a way I can do it because it, there's something here, this one over here. You see, if I forgot to change something to capital or I just would like to make to change the way the, c the words are or the words look like I can just click on this button over here I can sentence case that means at the beginning of the sentence the first letter is going to be capital or all of them lowercase or all of them are going to be uppercase which is this is what I want and you have other options capitalize each word so each word is going to have a capital letter and so on toggle case means what was lowercase is going to become a capital letter and so on and the capital letter becomes lowercase so anyway this is what I want I want to have it uppercase so that's why I do it like this what I need to be having as, as well is what else should I, should I apply to this it should be also bold and italic doesn't look like to be italic but underline should be in the center so click on the center you remember what we did with this ID we can do the same for this all students teacher assessment so I'm going to be doing the same I press tab and I press tab each one of those tab and tab I go back to the first one and then in the tab I'm going just to push whatever I want it to be let's say I want it to be somewhere here uh, so did I push the tab yes and I'd like to click it here it doesn't want to So I push tab and then I click here. Okay, I, I need to do it right after I push the tab. Okay, I don't know why. And all oh, because there were two tabs. 
No. And the same thing, I'll, I'm going to be doing the same thing and put it here as well. I don't know why it doesn't seem to be willing to work as expected. Just push tab and uh, I, I think I know the network is still going down. So the same thing, I don't push tab and put it here. Or what I can do, if you remember, we can just always copy the formatting and paste it. But I think this is the problem now with the, the network. So you can see that all of them are, are aligned. And another way is to create a table that is that has v invisible borders. And I can do that. So okay, if I create a table, for example, this table, and I remove the borders, you, it will appear like you have text aligned. Like this, how can I remove the borders? You see here, and there's this this one over here. Uh, let me make it bigger so you can see it normally where it, where it appears. This one, and if you click on it, there's no border. So if you can see with no border, it's you see these small uh, dotted lines, just to show you that they should be somewhere there. But if you preview before you print, so if you print it, this is what you're going to see. You don't see the lines. You just see text that is aligned. So it looks like the same as this one. You can see that they are very close to be aligned the same. OK, uh, so let's move on. Let's make this bigger enough so we can now compare what you need to do. You see this to, from, and read seems to be bold and underlined. But also the font seems to be bigger than this one, right? The font seems to be bigger. Actually, the whole font seems to be different than this one. But anyway, so this let's put this a bit bigger, like this, for example. I don't know what I did. So this is how it looks a little bit, maybe, something like that. And now I'm going to copy the formatting again and paste it to from to re for reply and date. So name and ID also, I'm going to put them as bold. Uh, is it underlined? No. This is not underlined, this one. So I'll just put it as bold. I'm going to put them as bold. No need to be underlined. However, this one is bold as well, the first line, the first column. I can select the whole line, the whole row, if I click, if you see this one, if I go the mouse when it goes on the left, I can select the whole line. Uh, the network now is not helping. Normally, if you see, it selects the whole line. If you click just next to the on the left of the row, next to the row, you can see. Now, if I click on this one, it's going to select the whole line. So I'm going to select the whole line here and click on bold. Is it enough? Yeah, I think that's, that should be enough. Maybe the font might be a bit different, but it's not a big deal. OK, the last thing is the, these names that have the numbering. So this numbering, I don't have to put them because there's a function that does it for me. This is the numbering. If I click on it, you can see that they are numbered now. And the same thing with those, which are called the bullets. These are the bullets. If I click on it, there are the bullets. And you see that they are aligned as something similar to this, which was not the case for some of you. If you type 1, 2, and, and 3, it's not going to align actually the same, the same way. So that's why it's easier to type all the text and then apply the formatting later on. So it's easy for you then to obtain something similar. What about this now? The, the last thing I would like to be showing you is the how to insert this header and footer. The header and the footer. Well, the header and footer, first of all, to understand them, we need to let's create another page. So what happens if I'd like to put something at the beginning of the page, on the top of the page, on every page? There's two ways. I mean, there are many different ways, but two main ways. I can go to insert header. And in, in such header, it should show me some templates. If I'd li I like some of these templates, I can use them. 
this might have some fancy colors, I mean styles, different styles and so on. However, if I just would like to just click on edit header, it's just going to show me here and I'll type whatever I want. I can also do it the same way by double clicking, I double click on this header above. And then I can just type this is the header and put it in the center. I can do the same thing for this is you know notice that this is showing on other pages as well. Let me put this in the center and say this is the footer. So the, the header and footer, what are they used for? When I would like to get out from here, I just double click again on the document, it just takes me out of the header. I want to go back to the header or the footer, same thing, I just double click, it's going to take me there. So this is how we put something in the document that will appear in every page. So now every page is going to have the same information in the header and footer. So sometimes, for example, if you having a document and at the end you would like to display the number of pages, page one, page two and, and so on, we use something like a footer and we put that, that information in the footer. So every page will have the same information but it can be updated for example for the number of pages. Or maybe I just would like to use something like quiz one and it displayed on all pages. So uh, this, is what I, this is how I do it. By using this header and footer. So we don't need this one so I'm going, to, oops, Again, this is whenever this oops moment happens, you just need to click on this back and it's you're back to normal. And then you're happy to have this back button. So this is what I need. I don't need the job. Or control Z, exactly, because this is actually the same thing as control Z. As you can see, it shows you this control Z, the how to do it. And this is control Y if you'd like to repeat whatever was deleted. So this is the exercise number two. And the last thing is uh, to check that uh, we need to replace this by today to the current date, which we did. And the last thing is to save the document as this in the folder. So I just need to do and save this. And I'm going to save it. I don't know if I have this. I have I have it already, probably. And then save it as no, I don't have it. So WP exercise. and let's save and that's it now I'm done with the exercise number two